In Plessy v. Ferguson, the U.S. Supreme Court justified racial segregation using the separate but equal doctrine. This doctrine was challenged in the 1950 case McLaurin v. Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education. George McLaurin had to fight for the right to attend the University of Oklahoma. McLaurin, who was black, wanted to pursue a Ph.D. in education. He applied to graduate school at the all-white University of Oklahoma, but was denied admission based solely on his race. A state statute made it a misdemeanor to operate, attend, or teach at a school that enrolled both black and white students. McLaurin challenged the statute, and a federal district court ruled that it was unconstitutional to the extent that it denied McLaurin admission. However, McLaurin's fight wasn't over. The Oklahoma legislature amended the statute to allow black students to attend white colleges under some circumstances, but only if the black students attended under segregated conditions. McLaurin was admitted to the university, but once on campus, he was segregated from the school's 12,000 other students, all of whom were white. McLaurin wasn't permitted to sit in the same classroom or use the same area of the library as the other students, nor was he allowed to eat with them. Instead, his desk was placed in an anteroom adjoining his classroom, he was assigned a library table away from the main reading room, and he was required to sit at a designated table in the cafeteria and eat at a separate time from everyone else. McLaurin filed a motion to modify the district court's judgment, arguing that the school's treatment of him violated his right to equal protection. The court denied McLaurin's motion, and he appealed to the United States Supreme Court. While the appeal was pending, the university improved its treatment of McLaurin, but only slightly. Instead of being forced to sit outside the classroom, he was allowed to sit inside the room in a row designated for black students. He was also allowed to use a designated table on the main floor of the library, and he was allowed to eat at the same time as other students as long as he sat at a separate table. 